हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू लर्न मोर मै स्टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सिमिलर ट्रैंगल्स पार्ट फोर अप्लीकेशन आफ तेल स्थिरम दट इज डिविजन आफ एलाइन सेगमेंट इन द गिवन रेशियो यूजिंग तेल स्थिरम सो सी स्टूडेंट हाउ कैन वी डिवाइड ए गिवन लाइन सेगमेंट इन दिस गिवन रेशियो यूजिंग तेल स्थिरम सो ड्रा एल देर इज ए क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट सी हियर ड्रा ए लाइन सेगमेंट ऑफ लेंथ सेवन पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर्स एंड डिवाइड इट इन द रेशियो फाइव इज टू थ्री मेजर द टू पार्ट्स so c student first we have to draw a line segment of length 7.2 cm then we have to divide it in the ratio 5 is to 3 using tail's theorem then we have to measure the two parts using the scale so c student first i am drawing a line length of a line segment so i am drawing a line segment of length 7.2 cm so c student first i am drawing a line segment of length 7.2 cm so c student so this is the line segment student let it is a and b so the length of this line segment is how much student 7.2 cm i have drawn a line segment of length 7.2 cm so next in the second step draw a ray ax so from the point a we have to draw a ray ax but there is a condition student so how we have to draw the ray ax angle bax should be an acute angle so we have to draw a ray ax such that angle bax is an acute angle so this must be is an acute angle student so what is an acute angle the angle which lies in between 0 degrees and 90 degrees is known as an acute angle so here we have to draw a ray ax such that angle bax is an acute angle this angle must be acute angle student so after drawing the ray ax so coming to the ratio student we have to divide this line segment in the ratio 5 is to 3 so the given ratio is what student given ratio is equal to 5 is to 3 so this is the given ratio student so in the given ratio this is the first part this is the second part the first part is known as the antecedent and the second part is known as the consequent now we have to find the sum of the parts sum of the parts in the ratio sum of the parts in the ratio so sum of the parts is equal to 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8 so student and now we have to mark off eight points on the ray ax so why eight points so sum of the parts in the given ratio is eight hence we have to mark off eight points on the ray ax suppose if the given ratio is 4 is to 3 then we have to mark how many points 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so we have to mark off only seven points so if the ratio is 2 is to 4 so sum of the parts is 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 then we have to mark up only 6 points on the ray ax so depending upon the given ratio we have to decide how many points we have to mark up on the ray ax so that's all student here the given ratio is 5 is to 3 hence we have to mark up 8 points on the ray ax with the help of the compass so see student now i'm taking a compass with some fixed radius so see here first check whether this radius is enough to mark eight points on the ray ax so first i am checking so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes it is enough student this radius is enough with some fixed radius with a as a center first we have to draw an arc so next this is one student so next two so next to from here three from here four from here five six seven eight so c student i have marked up eight points on the ray ax as so let it this point of intersection let it is as a1 uh, this is as a2 and it is as a, a3 so let it is as a4 
let it is as a a5 so let this point as a a6 let it is as a a7 let the last point as a a8 so see student what i have done just i have marked off eight points on the ray ax a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 a8 such that a1 is equal to a1 a2 is equal to a2 a3 is equal to a3 a4 is equal to a4 a5 is equal to so and so on a7 a8 the distance between any two points must be equal student so that is the condition so after drawing eight points after marked off eight points on the ray ax now we have to join a8 and b so last point on the ray and with the b we have to join with the help of a scale so see student now we have to join these two so with the help of a scale so see student you have to observe only two points and then join those two points with the help of a scale so now i am joining a8 and b with the help of a scale c student so i have joined a8 and b so after joining a8 and b so c student what is the first part in the given ratio 5 so at the fifth point at a5 we have to draw a parallel line to a8 to b from the fifth point we have to draw a parallel line to a to b for that how can we draw parallel line c student first so with a fixed radius with a fixed radius a8 is the center so draw an arc with a fixed radius a8 as center draw an arc that should cut both the lines so that should cut both these lines so with the same radius a5 as a center so why a5 student the first part in the given ratio is a5 so if the first part is given ratio is 4 then at a4 we have to draw so depending upon the first part of the given ratio we have to draw the parallel line so here the first part is 5 so from the point 5 we have to draw a parallel line for that draw an arc that should cut the line so now measure the length of the arc student now i am measuring the length of this arc so this is the length so from the point of intersection so draw another arc that should sorry draw another arc that should cut the first arc so see student this is the point of intersection of both the arcs so by passing through these two points we have to draw a line student by passing through these two points we have to draw a line so see student by passing through these two points i have drawn a line so this line intersecting the line segment a b at c now a c is to c b will be 5 is to 3 student now a c is to c b will be 5 is to 3 so if we divide this total into eight parts the first part will be 5 and the second part will be 3 so how can we justify student using Thales theorem how can we justify so before that just we have to recall the statement of basic proportionality theorem or say Thales theorem so if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two sides then it divides the other two sides in the same ratio so this is the statement of Thales theorem student so now a a8 b is a triangle student a a8 b is a triangle now a5 c is a line drawn parallel to a8 b a5 c is a line drawn parallel to a8 b then this line divides these two sides in the same ratio so see student that means uh, here using Thales theorem we can write uh, ac divided by cb is equal to 
AC divided by CB is equal to AC divided by CB is equal to AA phi divided by AA phi divided by A phi A eight A phi A eight. So C student AC divided by CB is equal to so up to AA phi. How many parts are there, student? One, two, three, four, five. So I am writing five parts divided by a5 to a8 how many are there student 1 2 3 so that is 3 that implies ac is to cb is equal to 5 is to 3 so like this we can justify the division of a line segment so now this line segment ab has been divided into two parts in the ratio 5 is to 3 so this is the division of a line segment using Thales theorem student and now we have to write the steps of construction how we have constructed we have to write student steps of construction steps of construction so this is our construction student so steps of construction see how can we write steps of construction so see student first one first step what it is uh, draw on a line segment of length ab is equal to 7.2 centimeters uh, that is our first step student draw on a line segment draw on a line segment draw on a line segment of length ab is equal to 7.2 centimeters so this is our first step student a draw on a line segment of length ab is equal to 7.2 centimeters so next what is our second step student draw on array ax such that angle b a x is an acute angle that is our second step draw on array ax draw on array ax drawn array ax such that such that angle b a x is an acute angle is an acute angle angle b a x is an acute angle so this is our second step student drawn array ax such that angle b a x is an acute angle so next third one step student what is the third step marked off 8 points on the array ax as a1 a2 up to a8 such that a1 is equal to a1 a2 is equal to and so on a7 a8 so this is our third step see student marked off marked off 8 points marked off 8 points why 8 student in the ratio 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so marked of 8 points on the ray ax on the ray ax as a1 comma a2 comma a3 comma a4 a5 a6 a7 and a8 such that such that a a1 is equal to a1 a2 is equal to a2 a3 is equal to a3 a4 is equal to a4 a5 is equal to a5 a6 is equal to a6 a7 is equal to a7 a8 so the distance between any two points must be equal student so next fourth one so joined a 8 b joined a 8 b joined a 8 b so next to fifth one student from the point a 5 from the point a 5 drawn a parallel line to a 8 b which is intersecting the line segment a b at c from the point from the point a5 
drawn a line segment drawn a line parallel to drawn a line parallel to a to b which is intersecting which is intersecting a b in c so this is our fifth one now a c is to c b is equal to so a c is to c b is equal to 5 is to 3 so now we have divided the given line segment in the ratio 5 is to 3 using Thales theorem so c student and also is asking to measure the two parts so with the help of the scale we have to measure these two a c and c b so c student now AC is equal to 4.5 centimeter student, CB is equal to 2.7 centimeter student. So, with the help of the scale, we have to measure these two parts. AC is equal to 4.5 centimeters and CB is equal to 2.7 centimeters. If you add these two, you can get again 7.2 centimeters. So that's all student like this we can divide a given line segment in the given ratio using Thales theorem. So after watching this total you have to practice at least 5 to 6 times student then only you get perfect. So otherwise you can't. Only practice. Practice makes perfect. So that's all today's class student. In the next class we have to learn how can we construct a similar triangle that we have to learn in the next, next class student.